Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and I am trying something new here. I just started a podcast called Nathan Lott's Apple Thoughts, where I give my thoughts about Apple apps and services. For example, I talked about HomeKit and the Apple One plans, and the, this newest episode I did was about Apple Arcade. You can find it at nlat.me. And on every episode, I have a app of the week. And that's where the video comes in. I want to start doing a video component for all of the apps of the week. I'm going to go back a little bit to episode three and talk about my app of the week on that show, which was Controly. Controly lets you control your Mac with a game controller. So as you can see, I can move the left stick around and it moves my cursor. So let's see how to set that up. We'll go ahead and open it up. And here you see a picture of a game controller. This isn't exactly like mine. It has a little bit more buttons. And so some of the buttons are going to be none in the customized controls. First of all, you can adjust the sensibility of the pointer speed and the scrolling speed. I'm going to leave that as it is for now. And let's look at some of the buttons here. I don't have an options button, so I'm going to leave that alone. But the left trigger here will show the desktop. And the left bumper will show the launch pad. On the right side, the right trigger will mute. And I don't have anything for the right bumper. And I can go ahead and change that. If I click on it, I can create a shortcut or there are mouse actions, playback controls, sound and brightness, and system conveniences like mission control, app ex expose, launch pad, and so on. But I'm going to create a shortcut for this one. And I'm going to make this a return key. Make sure that you check the recognize return and escape keys. So I'm going to press return. And that's what the right bumper is going to do. So whenever I need to return, I'll just hit the right bumper. I also want to change the Y key. And I'm going to make that a quit key. So I'm going to do Command Q. And click Done. The B is a secondary click. A is a primary click. X plays and pauses music. And then over on the left, you have your D-pad. I can, with the vo uh, up arrow, volume up, down arrow, volume down. Left is to skip back, and forward is to skip forward. And the left stick moves the mouse pointer, and the right stick will scroll. So let's kind of take a look at this in action. I'll go ahead and open Mail. It's a little fiddly to get to where you want using the moving pointer with this, with the gamepad. But then I pressed A to launch mail. And I can hold down A as my primary click and select. B is a right, right click, so I can look up, search with Google, copy, share, a speech and services, and then primary click to get rid of it. Again, with the left bumper, I can show the desktop. Or the left button, I can go into 
mission control. Now remember that I Y is now a quit button, so let's quit mail. And let's go into my notes app. We'll do a new note. And I said the right click button above the bumper is return. So that works fine. And then there are music controls. So let's go into music. We'll hit Y to quit notes. And let's go into music. Double click the A button to start playing. So the right D-pad skips forward. From a jack to a king. And the left From skips backward. And then X plays or pauses. So all of that works. So I'll pause that with the X button, quit music with Y. And that's how Controly works. For the full app, it is $3.99. And any game controller will work. I happen to have a Still Series Nimbus. And so it says connected to MFI, which is made for iOS. And we'll click close. And that is Controly. So I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.